Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September, so it could happen at any time in September. We're just going to see what comes up, okay? Oh, we got two that fell out. Now, this is my third one. I've already done two other ones for you, um, but I decided to keep them to myself. Um, and I may, I may tell you what they are, you know, in this reading, you know, if, if it comes up. I did have reconciliation, so someone from your past is returning to your life. There it is. Okay, someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, when that comes up, it doesn't mean that it's your ex, okay? It doesn't mean that. It could be somebody from your childhood. We did have a Six of Cups as well. Could be somebody from your childhood. Could be somebody that you grew up with. Could be a child, okay? Could be a mother. Could be a sibling. Could be uh, a friend, okay? A reconciliation is a reconciliation with somebody that has left your life for one reason or another, okay? So someone from your past is returning to your life, okay? We also had unexpected help is arriving in my deck, the Empress Oracle deck. So I don't know if there's somebody that has passed away that is guiding you, okay? That person may be returning to help you with something. I saw that as well. Let's get one more. Let's get one more of these. Oh, that's too many. Just one. Here it is. Vacation. Kite. Vacation. Maybe you need to go on vacation. Dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So you need to increase your efforts. If you want to achieve your goals. Now let's get some of these. Somebody may meet somebody on vacation. You know, this person could be traveling to you or you may be traveling to them. You're on vacation. You may be going on a vacation, planning a vacation. What do we have for Virgo for September? We had this as well, two weeks from now. That came up in the other one. Something's going to happen in two weeks from now. Oh, drama queen. This came up in the first reading. You, definitely, you, you are definitely dealing with a drama queen. There's no doubt about that. This woman is very, very jealous of you. Extremely jealous. Ah, we had this one too. Just fell out. Older woman. This is an older woman that is extremely jealous of you. Nothing new, right? You don't know your value. You don't know your value. So your value is going to be tested. Wonderful. Two weeks from now, this drama queen is going to cause you some problems by the looks of things, if she's not already. We did have the queen of swords in reverse in the other reading, so this is, could be a wicked stepmother, could be an ex, or somebody that likes to say nasty things that is a pathological liar that will do, and we had the five of swords as well, will do anything to win. So be prepared for that. You're probably going to be dealing with some struggles with this woman. What do we have for Virgo? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So you have to make a decision. You have to set your intentions during this time because very soon, like in two weeks, something is coming. So hopefully your mind is made up. We also, it's interesting that we have retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. It looks like we have marriage partners here 
I don't, and we had vacation over there. And you may be, you, and in the other one, we had the honeymoon card, which is enjoying holiday bliss together. So I wonder if you are going to be going on a retreat with somebody, you know, going on a little vacation for some, with somebody. That could certainly be the case. Maybe you're going to meet somebody on vacation. You probably have to let go of a drama queen. Maybe this drama queen is making you feel insecure. You have the nine of pentacles in reverse. That's insecurities. That's, that's her intent. This drama queen's intent is to make you feel insecure. You know, she wants to win at all costs. She'll say or instill fear on you. And what I saw in the other one was trying to use scare tactics. So I feel like there's somebody that's trying to scare you. So be aware of that. Three of Wands reversed. Faith, the Hierophant card. Three of Cups reversed. Ten of Coins. Ace of Coins right in the middle, which is great. Hierophant reversed. So this deck has two Hierophants and two Threes of Swords. So we definitely we have the Hierophant twice. But this one is upright and one is reversed. Interesting. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus. Four of Cups, Ten of Wands reversed, and the Magician could also be dealing with a Gemini. Let's talk about your person. Let's get some cards on whoever this other person is that is in your energy. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Cups reversed, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Two of Swords and seven of cups let's get a couple cards for advice before we go any further hangman reversed empress thank you lord nine of cups and king of swords okay all right so what do we got here We got a golden opportunity. You have a golden opportunity right in the middle here. You, you are in a, you're receiving a gift, okay? You have a gift. You have an opportunity here. Something that is solid, something that is stable, something is that is real. I feel, feel like this is something that you have manifested. You have manifested, maybe it has to do with a commitment or abundance or something like that. Some of you have a spiritual gift, the faith card, the Hierophant next to the Ace of Cups. You have some sort of, this is like a very spiritual, um, a spiritual gift. Anyhow, Ten of Coins, abundance in your past. You know, this is uh, living a very comfortable life. Some of you, you know, your beliefs, you know, whatever it is that you believe, you have the power to manifest whatever you want. You have a direct connection to God. Um, I do believe there is somebody that is thinking about you. Okay. Four of Cups. We saw that in the other one because we had, they really miss you a lot. So there is somebody here that is really, really, really thinking about you. This is pointed right at the Ace of Pentacles as well. There is somebody that is really, really thinking about you. They, they um, probably have some extreme regrets because I saw that we had the five of cups and the ten of swords in their position last time. This person ha is really suffering. They have extreme regrets for not investing. Um, you have definitely manifested something. We have the ace of coins mirroring the magician card. That's the power. Okay. You have a divine connection to source. Um, I feel like you are in a position of power. I feel like you have, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is all earthly powers in your hand, mirroring the magician. So you definitely have a golden opportunity for success. Your beliefs, okay, whatever it is that you believe, you will get. Your, your thoughts truly do become things and you are, you're going to be receiving something that you don't expect. And I, this is really a good playoff to the other one I just did. Um... I feel like you have been, you know, trying really, really hard to become successful. We have the Ten of Wands reversed down here in your challenges position. You know, you've worked really hard to become successful. You've had a lot of demands, a lot of responsibilities. You've been trying really hard and you've probably reached a point where it's time to make a change. It's time to relax. It's time to... Uh, delegate some responsibilities maybe to others or to let go of some things so that you can have some you know relief I feel like it's you need some 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 sort of relief I feel like 
Um, there is something with the, th you're unprepared for some sort of, well, I wonder if you're dealing with some gossip or you're dealing with some, um, people that are not very spiritual. We get the three of wands reversed, the three of cups reversed, and the hierophant reversed in your future. I feel like you're not prepared. I feel like, I feel like there's some, there's like, uh, Somebody here that is maybe coming back around, three of wands reverse, that is somebody that left that may be coming back, somebody from your past. Somebody from your past is coming back around. They may have been in a third party. They may have been in some sort of commitment or they were um, afraid of commitment. There is somebody here that is from your past, which I saw that in both the other readings that is coming back around. Now, this does not have to be the person that you absolutely hate. And that's something I really need to reiterate because people don't get it. They automatically think it's the one that broke their heart. You know, I don't, I don't know if that's the case. I feel like this is somebody that you don't, you completely, completely don't expect. It's not who you think it is. Okay. I feel like, um, We have somebody here that may have released, they may have released a previous commitment. They may have released a third party. We get the 10 of wands uh, reversed, mirroring the three of cups reversed. That's like releasing something that was holding them down, that was weighing them down. You know, and it has to do with a previous commitment. So I do believe there is somebody that is coming back around that was in some sort of commitment that they have now released. I feel like this person may even be at a distance. I'm not sure if they're at a distance or they've been very distant with you. They've been distant. Um, maybe they were going through a spiritual awakening. Maybe they were just holding on to this commitment for financial reasons, but they've been thinking about you know, making you an offer. They may be very fearful of rejection as, as though. I feel like whoever you are dealing with um, is very strong. This person is highly competitive. They're very, very attractive. They've been confused. They've been disillusioned. They've been blocking their feelings. They've been emotionally closed off. They were probably dealing with another woman, whoever this other person is. This other woman was causing their disillusionment this other woman was probably forcing them or lying to them or uh using emotional blackmail on them you know using you know playing their feelings but i feel like we have whoever it is that you're dealing with is finding their strength and their courage and their confidence and their determination to uh take action somebody's about to take action i feel like you're dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius who has been dealing with a water sign pisces cancer scorpio whoever this water or could also be a libra gemini aquarius i feel like your person is has been uh in a very disappointing situation where they probably made a poor choice with the seven of cups you know they may you know they may have made a poor choice because it looked good you know it was attractive to them but they were in denial of it for quite some time you know they didn't want to accept the truth it was a you know they were torn whoever you're dealing with was torn they were torn between uh, going in your direction or staying put in the situation that they're in. And I feel like they were staying put in the situation that they were in because it was easy. You know, it was just easy for them and they could just pretend to be somebody else. And they were pretending. They were pretending. Uh, anyhow, whoever you are dealing with is now about to take action. I feel like they've been in denial long enough. Your advice is... Uh, Use your head, use your head, the king of swords, the empress, but also use your heart, use your head and your heart. There is somebody here that has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening and I feel like you are going to be struggling to open up to this person. I feel like you may have your guard up. I feel like this is an opportunity for you to start a new life and have wish fulfillment, but I feel like there is... 
you need to be logical. I feel like you, because you need to use your head and your heart in this decision. I feel like you need to take time to think about it. There is somebody here that is going to be making you a proposal. This person is very, um, very strong. Um, they see your beauty. They definitely see your beauty. Know your value. Know your worth. Hang on to your worth. Hang on to your value. You're beautiful. Um, very beautiful with the Empress card. There is somebody here that wants, is they're going to give you an invite. They're going to invite you or it's a proposal of some sort. You're going to be getting a proposal from somebody. This is somebody that is in a, in a professional position. Whatever this person does, they are professional. This is somebody that, um, It feels like they're in a director, you know, and director may not, maybe a director, or it's something about direct. What's the word for it? Um, if it's not a director, director of communications. I don't know where that came from. This person communicates, whoever, and, and you know what, you you need to, you're going to need to discern. You're going to be getting a proposal from somebody that is in a position of authority that is making you an offer that could create a new life for you. You are going to need to take time to think about it and look at things from a new perspective. Be open-minded. This is an opportunity for you to start a new life, okay? Um, you're going to be given a golden opportunity from somebody that has been really i feel like this person has been watching you i feel like this is something that you've asked for or you've manifested through your thoughts you are unprepared for this offer this may require some sort of relocation whether this is re person is relocating to you or you're relocating to them This is going to bring you some sort of relief if you accept this offer. You know, if you say yes and you accept this offer, you will find relief. You are going to feel relieved. I feel like you need to be brave. You need to be very, very brave. You need to really, you're going to need to use discernment. You're, there is also another woman here that is very jealous. I know I already said this, that is going to be trying to cause you problems. You know, this person is trying to cause disillusionment. They're trying to block your success. So they're going to try to instill fear. It's almost like those people that try to put, they try to say, oh, I'm going to do black magic on you. That's all fear based. Okay, it's all fear based. All right, um, you are protected. You are protected with that Hero Font card. You are protected. So, I mean, it's all fear. It's all fear. It's all mind over matter, okay? Um, all it does, all that is, is instilled fear. It's people that try to instill fear in you. Well, nobody has that power but God. No human on this earth has that power. powerful release we have a powerful release here a powerful release of fear perhaps I do believe that you are receiving a gift. You are receiving a golden opportunity that you completely do not expect. It's coming from above. You are protected. There is somebody that you are dealing with that uh, is having a hard time doing the right thing. They are controlled. You know, they are controlled. They are in a dark place. They uh, try to manipulate you. Somebody's trying to manipulate you, and you need to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe. Believe in God. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith. Okay? Have faith. Have faith. There is somebody here that is delusional. 
that is trying to block your success. This person is not going to succeed. They're not. You are going to be receiving an offer from somebody or from above that you have manifested. This is going to break you free from something that has been overwhelming for you. I feel like uh, you are about to give birth to a new life. There is a protector here. You do have a protector here with the King of Swords. This person is what you asked for. There is some sort of protection here. You don't. There is some sort of protection. I feel like uh, wish fulfillment is right around the corner. You're going to be extremely happy with the offer that you're getting. This is an abundant offer. This is a blessing. So you are about to receive a blessing. This is somebody that has some sort of uh, plan, okay? They're about to make you uh, an offer that I don't think that you can refuse. This is like, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I feel like this person has been eyeing you or watching you for quite some time. Amen. Reverse has become enlightened this person knows what they want they see you as a beautiful opportunity they're gonna set you right up You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision and you're going to have to really, you're going to have to be brave and master your emotions. You know, you're good. This is an emotional decision. And be careful with your choice because what you choose, what you own owns you, you're right. So you're going to be put in a position where you have to make a choice. Maybe it's between two people. You definitely could have two people here. Maybe it's a fire sign and a water sign. Could also be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Taurus and Libra here. We definitely have a beautiful opportunity. There could even be news of a child that makes somebody extremely happy. I feel like you have some sort of skills that somebody sees as very valuable. They see your skills, they see your skills and they're going to be making you an offer and this could even be job related, it could be. You are going to be releasing some sort of weight that you've been carrying. We also have a broken relationship here with the Hero Font Reverse next to the Three of Cups. Somebody may have um, gotten themselves into some sort of commitment and it failed with the Three of Wands Reverse. It's like a failed commitment and there's a this could be the end of a third party situation. Maybe this person and that's why or it's the somebody made a poor choice, you know, and now they're coming and they're choosing you. wasted time on a third party on another option somebody wasted time on another option maybe it was you maybe you need to listen to your gut 
Listen to your gut. Don't don't give your time and energy to somebody that doesn't want commitment. I feel like this week you're going to be in a position where you're letting go. You're letting go of your old life. You're stepping into a new one and you're receiving an offer from somebody that is very honest and truthful. This person is uh, in a professional position and they see you as a beautiful opportunity. However that resonates with you. You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision and you do have a witch here. The witch has not uh, given up. She's going to continue to try, but she's not going to succeed. So good luck.